I think I need a little ND on this guy. He's too bright. Non yeah. non denominational? What? Do you have to it's too too religious? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I gotta bring out <laughs> really tone that down. I don't want to offend anybody. Uh, no, I just, I don't think you can quite see that it's our logo. Can you? Uh, you're all blurry. Everything's blurry in your shot right now. So I, I all right. can't You are anything. worthless, Dan. Okay. Do you know that? Yeah. I can't count on you for anything. That's what my wife says every day. Clean the toilet. <laughs> That's so sad. Every day she says every that? Every day that she berates me. <laughs> Oh, Shannon. It's very She's sad. a good woman. You said it. <laughs> if I thought she was going to watch this, I'd agree with you. But <laughs> only then. I'll do that. Oh, you suck up. Because I don't want to get a beating. Um, well, sure. I mean, who does? Who does? Hey, watch him! Welcome to Hate Watching with Dan and Tony, the show that answers the question, what is Hate Watching with Dan and Tony? I'm not sure that we answer that question, Dan. (laughs) It's pretty much different every week. The show that posits a question and then leaves it unanswered for you to think about throughout the week. Like the best, like the best TV series, we leave you on a cliffhanger. Come back next week. Then the show was canceled. (laughs) (laughs) What exactly happened? Huh? Nobody knows. Uh, who cares? Nobody cares? I don't know. Not enough people watched. So each week we watch a movie. Uh, mm-hmm. This week, I believe this was a movie that Tony picked. It was. It was because we. I also picked the first one. The first one. Uh, so, so when the second one came out, Bang. I was like, I'll pay the $20 just to see this piece of shit. Totally worth it. I'm so oh, yeah. glad that I own this in my collection. I'm going to rewatch it so many times. It's Venom, Let There Be Carnage. Or v- Terrible name. Venom 2 as in the, in the vernacular. The ven- Yeah, sure. <laughs> the vernacular. So this movie picks off, picks up, Right where the last Pixar. one left off, except Woody Harrison, different wig. Yeah. I, I was watching this one review of the movie that this girl was giving, and her, her review was, she, you know, she gets like 700,000 views or whatever. Sure. But, yeah, as as they want to do. And I think this is what we got to change, Tony, is what she does is she yells every one of her lines. He I feel like wearing I yell a, wig. a bunch. You don't yell a bunch. No. <laughs> No, no, but I mean her, I, her, her. That was like a really bad Christopher Walken. Her, her <laughs> cadence is exactly that. It's just attack, 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 attack. You got to mix it up. Well, obviously not. Obviously, I don't know what I'm talking about because she's got tons of views and we got none of views. So good for her. So hit it hard, baby. Mm. Ka-chow, ka-chow, ka-chow. I'm gonna attack this movie <laughs> for doing movie How stuff. How long is? How long is the video? Oh, it's like twenty five minutes. She, she, that's too. That's too long to be up at a ten. It's like a, it's too it's long. Like a, the candle burnt too bright. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what the people want, Dan. All right, I'll bring the. I'm going to bring the energy today. I'm going to be up here the whole time. And I'm tired. So oh. that's it. Yep, that was a good show. Now, did we talk about what movie we watched this week? Yeah, yeah, Venom, Venom Two oh, Venom in the vernacular, vernacular spectacular. 2021, a a yeah. beautiful hour and 37 minutes. Good God, people, we God bless you. More more movies in the night. If I ever see a script that's over 90 pages, I'm going to throw it out from here on. Like I don't need it. I don't need that last 30 minutes, guys. That's not to say that this movie was was felt short. No. No, no I got real bored in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we're going back to the world of Venom, back to the world of Eddie Brock and and his uh his trials and tribulations. He's been he's been symbiotically connected to to Venom, which is this alien which mm-hmm. can mm-hmm. Well, well, this one Venom can't do as much because we have to have this yeah. other monster carnage that comes along, which is just you know Venom Junior, and it has to be able to do so much more. So Venom kind of gets only gets to do less this time. He did, yeah. So just do do me a favor and don't watch the first one close to the second one. 
because then you'll see all the things that they kind of retract in the second one. But if you haven't seen it for months and months and months, you're kind of like, I feel like he did more, but maybe he didn't. I'm, maybe I'm crazy. Well, but you're not. At the beginning of the movie, he's doing more. He's just shooting tentacles yeah. out and the tentacles are doing thousands of things. Just a bunch of random shit. But by the last fight, he's like, no more tentacles. I'm just yeah. a dude. I'm, you know, big, big dude. I'm just a kid and life is a nightmare. So we start, we start 1996. We go to reform school. We see that weird young Woody Cletus um, has. How did you feel about them using Woody's voice on this kid's body? (laughs) It was really weird to me. Like his voice is clearly that of a 70 year old man. (laughs) I was like, this doesn't work at all. so he's like they they take him away he's got a girlfriend there and then she has powerful screaming powers and then the police come to the police come literally the police come to take Uh away basically a mutant in the van and then she blows up the van and then was there more people there to pick her up i don't i don't really remember i full disclosure i i didn't totally pay attention because i was laughing so hard because she says the line they're coming to take me away uh-huh. and then yeah the wife and i just broke out in a song and i missed the next like 3 minutes of the movie cuz i was like no you can't literally use that line in an <laughs> in like a scene like this yeah, it's too much. It's too much. And they said it in earnest, which bothered me. It's like, if you're saying it tongue in cheek, great. They're coming to take me away. Come on, guys. Anyhow, so, so I so missed I... a lot of it. But she's got a scream, um, which is, is that someone in the Marvel Universe? Who is that in the Marvel Universe? Banshee? I'm pretty I mean, sure it's that's, Banshee. That's who Ban- Ban- I mean, you know, it's the Marvel Universe. Know. So anybody can have any power, you know, it's like strong guy can be guess. strong guy. But I mean, yeah, it's very, very similar. I'm sure she's based on someone real in the comic books. I'm sure they ran the storyline at some point. I'm sure they did. Um, maybe. So then, so the regular police pick her up. And of course, then she, you know, kind of kills them. And then the uh, the super police well, then she, pick her up. She deafens one of them. Yeah, deafens one of them. And then they put her yep. in a, they put her in a sound room. And then, then we fast forward to the now, and then they're like, ha ha, they hold up the newspaper or something and say, they're going to kill your boyfriend. So I'm not quite so, sure how they know that he's her boyfriend since that was a childhood thing. I don't totally understand anything. Okay, so we got to go. I, mm, the whole beginning of the movie is the very. Beginning. Let's go back <laughs> to the beginning. To me. So where are they? They're in a, they're in St. Estes, which is an orphanage. It's an orphanage. Yeah. Okay. And then they got get, it, got it, got she, it. She, because she's a mutant, gets taken to Ravencroft. But he's fine, even though he murdered a bunch of people. That's well, where he, I get he confused. He murders the people later. He's oh, a kid when his he's mom a mom and gra- I thought he killed his mom and his grandma, his abuela. Oh. Yeah, I guess he right? did kill them. So how did, at that did, point. did they did they not know that? A kid. I, I so know. I thought they were already locked up, and then other people were coming into where they were locked up and locking her up somewhere. Dip. I got very confused very fast. Uh, yeah, anyhow. I guess. I guess he must be in that. But you put somebody in a home like that when they kill a bunch of people. I don't know. I don't think so. I think you try him as an adult and lock him up forever. But I guess I'm I'm not good at the law. So then we have titles. I am the law. I don't remember what the titles were. Don't remember. I don't know. And then we get to the sergeant dude, who yeah. sort of is your other motivating character. And well, he's basically Donnie Wahlberg from is it the Saw movie? Is that is that what, is it, that is? what it is? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's Donnie from the Saw. I don't know. Yeah, so he's the sort of since Eddie's like a reporter, and you can't have him really do reporter stuff until unless someone tells him to do reporter stuff. Uh huh. So he tells him what he's got to do. He's got to, you got to go see Cletus. And they're like, they walk through there and Venom's like popping out and saying words. And sometimes you're like, it's just him talking to Eddie. And then sometimes Mm -hmm. it's an illusion of the, you're never quite sure what Venom is doing and what's, they don't make it clear at all. So it makes me feel a little crazy as I'm watching it. Which I I don't yes. think that's what they're going for, but it's it's very effective in making me feel like I don't understand anything that's happening in the world. Yes, yes, very definitely. So 
Eddie goes into the bathroom and and argues with Venom, whose whose mm-hmm. head is has extended. But so the that woman, means he's talking out loud, right? I would assume when the head is extended, that's speaking because that's not. I an thought illusion. that was the whole thing. I know. I don't know, man. More importantly, they're in the bathroom and there's a woman in the stall next to them. Yeah, did they? I. Uh, Which, it, she's like all freaking out because either he's she should. talking to himself or he and Venom are talking to oh, each there's other. There's two people talking. Yeah. yeah. And then we don't even do anything with her. She doesn't do anything. No, she's totally fine. She just she just goes home for the rest of the movie and's like, what a weird day. So, uh, yes, lady in the bathroom, question mark. And then we get out there and there's talk about respect. You know, Venom wants to be res- the, the basic premise of this movie is Venom wants to be respected. Yeah. And Eddie wants Venom to go away, kind of. Kind of, but not really. But not really. Yeah. Um, and that's what the movie should have been. Venom should have been like, Eddie, we need to be a team. And Eddie's like, I hate you. I hate you, Venom. And then Venom <laughs> leaves. And then when he needs Venom, he has to beg Venom to get him back. And that's kind of what happens. But but it's not re- like they don't hit that very well. No. But I did enjoy the begging scene it's, for what it was. That's oh, later, way, way at the end. Yeah, yeah, much, much later, much, much later. There was some there was some decent stuff in that scene. It was and almost the, good. And the, the whole conflict of this thing is that Venom wants to eat brains. He wants to basically eat brains of I assume living human beings. Yeah, oh yeah, no, he needs the alive the synapses firing as he as he devours the deliciousness. Yes. And so Eddie's like denying him that. But what as is, he probably should. He, well, kind of, kind of not. And we'll, 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 we'll get to that. You think they should just be eating dudes? We're going to get to that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so he goes down there, sees Cletus in jail, and Cletus is scheduled for execution. Now, do they know each other? Eddie caught him. Okay. Uh, Which, how does Eddie keep catching people? Because he's not a detective. He's a reporter. He reports the, which is, he reports uh, them to death. Okay, we're going to talk gonna about talk it very about soon. How confused I am. So, so basically, Cletus is like, okay, if you deliver this one singular message, then I'm going to, um, I'm going to tell you all my secrets. Uh, once again, this is a thing that's that's sort of floated out there, but we don't ever see it, which is like because he doesn't tell him the secrets. Then no, he well he Eddie then deliver. So see, that's what he says. And yeah. they make a so they make a deal, yeah. and he says this random thing, and then they print which it. first of all is clearly code like yeah. Ed, Eddie knows that it's code right yeah i I don't understand, so he's happy he's like, oh, some weird haiku that you want me to say obviously that's not what it is, you idiot, so he, you're the worst reporter ever, so he does this. And I mean, ostensibly, it should have been printed. Then he should. Have, the next scene should be him back at the jail saying, "Spill the a beans." A million percent. Yeah, so much. But instead, but, they figure out the mystery on their own. But in, no, 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 no. They do not figure no? anything out. Venom Wait. figures everything out. Oh yeah, sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Which is another thing I have a question on Ven- because Venom seems to recognize these pictures on the wall. So Venom had noticed. <laughs> Venom, right. the great investigative reporter that he wa- is, had noticed all the things that that uh, that what's his Cletus had scrawled on the walls, and then uh-huh. he does automatic writing and does uh-huh. all these things. And the weirdest thing is, is they're really specific and interesting. And like the first one, like Eddie's like immediately like no, yeah, <laughs> and you're kind of like why what why are you saying why? no to that? I mean, it's it yeah. seems really you know it tells like four of them until Eddie sees one and goes like. Oh, this looks like this coastline, and then instantly, Eddie has like solved where the missing bodies are. Which, yeah, we didn't even know that that was the prime. Maybe we knew that was the primary thing, but doesn't even matter if we knew it because my question is, how does this happen? So he just writes about it, and then he wins the day. Well, yeah, that's the whole thing. Is Eddie figures out where the bodies are by you know holding a, a drawing that Venom did, and Venom instigated right. him to do all this work 
Right. Even he even says the line, "I'm doing your job." He's like, "I'm doing your job," which is yeah, you are because he's a terrible investigative reporter, just like in the first one. So they kept that at least the same. He's there's, terrible at his job. Consistency. He's <laughs> he's he's whiny and ineffective and garbage. Venom, so much. Oh, God, I hate very Eddie. effective and very proactive and all these things. You're kind of like yeah, he's so great. This. this the point I'm getting to is I'm kind of I'm getting to be on Team Venom at a certain point in this movie. I'm always on Team Venom, but that doesn't mean he should just be eating dudes, Dan. That's not OK. <laughs> OK, <laughs> we'll, we'll get right. to that. OK, so we'll get to it. so they dig up the bodies. Uh, he writes all the really Why doesn't he bodies. tell the cops? So he's so he's basically because the cop is like, if he tells you anything, well, let me know. Well, and then Eddie's like, sure, sure, buddy. And then I, he doesn't. And he's just like, I'm going to get famous instead. Well, so he's like the most selfish hold, asshole ever. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry. It, yeah, It literally makes no sense because the cop gets I mad know. at him, right? The cop gets mm-hmm. mad at him for not telling him. But he, who, who did he tell where the bodies were? He just like nobody printed it in the newspaper. And then, That's what I'm saying. I don't understand. It sure seems like you write the story. Then you hand the story to the cop and you say, here's the, here's all the information. Go dig up. Right. Because you want to have the photos still, of the bodies being dug up. Yes. And you still get the credit, right? I don't know, man. I didn't understand this. And then uh, and so the know. cop is mad at him, but he's back on top as an investigative reporter. Even though we don't see that, he doesn't get a new job. Nobody says to him, nothing. Good job. He just nothing changes. Oh, no. Something changes. What changes? Oh, Tony? it does? Oh, yeah. Something huge changes. What changes? He gets a new motorcycle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea is. I've something s- huge this is what this is the change in his life new motorcycle how does he have new motorcycle who knows mm. who gave him the money for that who knows who cares it doesn't matter everyone he's on top of the world everyone gave him the money and and so wait is this the point he's got the new motorcycle this is not where he tries to kill himself no that's later so that is later but we, oh boy <laughs> that's that's something to dig into so he's on top of the world he's got a new motorcycle yeah, now living we, the dream. Now we have the wacky scene in the apartment, but he's like, he's he's down on himself, right? For some for some reason, Eddie is still depressed. I don't I don't know why, but then Venom's like, chip 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 cheree, let's cheer up. I'm gonna make you some food. So this is like sort of the one. This is the this is the scene that shows you what the movie should have been. Right. Okay, so you want to lean into the silliness of it. In, in my well, I mean, it's the only thing that works. Well, okay, well, you're right about that, but I don't think <laughs> I don't think that's the only thing that could work. I, but maybe I'm wrong. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they did the best that they could, and that's the only thing that works. I don't know. I'm just saying, uh, I didn't like this scene, and this is like the trailer, and I was like, yeah. "What the frick is this?" And yeah. then I was like, "But, but the truth of the matter is, this is what the movie needs to be is." And what it is is it's a, it's a, a sort of subtle look at how sort of schizophrenic your life would be if this symbiote was in your head all the time yelling at you, and it wanted one thing and you wanted another thing, and yep. you know it's like make it you know half the time it's trying to cheer you up, you know, and that's this should have been like a cheer up moment, like oh, I'm cheering you up, yeah. Eddie, ha ha, here's the mail, da 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 da, Eddie. <laughs> And it's kind of, da, 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 da. and 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 you know it's sort of I don't know. I so I mean I, I I totally hear what you're saying, and I agree. I like that relationship where where Venom's trying to cheer him up. I but the only thing that actually works well for me in this movie is Venom's obsession with Anne. That's like oh, that's what I enjoy. You should have been. It should have been about him. Yeah. I think because the funny to, to me, the funniest parts are when like when Ann calls and he's like, "Cause that her blah, blah, blah. like I get a kick out of that. I don't know. Well, and, and and I think that should be the whole sort of thing is Venom should be like this sort of single minded thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can't do this because the comic character has to eat brains. But if you could somehow table that a little more. <laughs> and it could just yeah. be about Eddie, yeah. you know, like maybe, you know, like in True Blood, you know, you give him the thing. Maybe, maybe he goes down to the butcher and, you know, like here's cow. Well, he's got his chickens. But we, we established that the chickens don't work. 
not only don't they work, but he also is in love with them and they're his friends, Sonny and Cher. I don't know. I don't know. And that was another, it, you know, there's there's like these little interesting tidbits mm-hmm. that you're like, if a really crafted writer went in there and sort of, you know, built or up. Or any them. writer. I'm not sure there was a writer on the movie, Dan. <laughs> I think there were a lot of writers because because <laughs> there were a lot of jokes and you know you were like somebody's not one person's writing all those jokes twenty people are That's writing true. all those jokes. That's why there's no uniformity. To so the there's jokes. chickens and Venom wants to be free. He wants the wind in his hair. He doesn't have hair, but you know wind in his hair. Classic. I need brains. I need chocolate, and and for some reason he has to sort of live by eddie's rules yes why is that i assume i don't i i assume eddie gave him an ultimatum because i think eddie can push him out can't he i have no idea i don't know either but but venom needs like a willing host in order to like survive properly well no, he's symbiotically he eddie's the only one he could truly survive in anybody else he starts yeah. You know, to they wither. start rejecting yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. So I just, I assume he's just like, you got to live by my rules or I will reject you. Right? I don't know, Dan. Yeah. It, 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 they don't set this up. And that's, yeah. you need to understand the exact power structure. Because then in the next thing, yeah. Venom is demanding food. And so they go out there and he jumps around. And then there's, a, there's a robbery. Right? And then Venom yeah. jumps down there, stops the robbery. The woman who's being robbed continues to stand there for the whole thing doesn't do the thing that everyone in the world would do which is run the fuck away run away the craziest thing in the world is happening right now but just she, get out she stands there and sort of reacts but to no effect does she she sort of I like know. i don't know makes whoa, whoa, whoa. and she <laughs> continues to stand there as opposed to like going i'm out i'm out this is yeah this is bad shit i gotta go and the and having her stand there doesn't even mean anything. It doesn't. It's for no reason. They don't. They don't use it at all. Which they do a couple. There's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple things in here that they like set up as if they're going to use them, and then they just don't use them. It's like they forgot a page later that they set it up, and there's no payoff whatsoever. Very strange. So, so Venom wants to eat this guy, and this is the point sure. at which Eddie's like, "No, don't eat him. Don't." And Eddie's rationale for him not eating him is nothing. I think his rationale, Dan, is don't kill people. That's it. That's the whole rationale. I I mean, okay. (laughs) I mean, this dude needs to be eaten. I'm with, I'm on on Team Venom at this point. Eddie's whiny and useless, and Venom is like, he needs to eat, and just like, let him eat. I will let them eat. Uh, I, I don't, Dan, I think I'm against you on this one because I don't think we should just be murdering people willy nilly. This guy's a, you know? this guy's a criminal and a monster. There's nothing good he's coming not, out of this he's guy. He's just a, he's a, you know, he's a mugger. He, is that a death penalty sort of situation? Is, I don't it, it, know. It is that day. It is that day. <laughs> just, you got the short straw on that day, bud. I don't know. I don't think we should just eat people's I heads. I was on Ven- I was on Team Venom at this point. I'm just like Eddie. I'm sick of you, Venom. Just take over and eat him. I I mean I I hate Eddie. I think Eddie is the worst part of the movie, and which is unfortunate. I don't know if I like Tom Hardy, Dan. Oh, Tom Hardy. I don't great. know. Tom Hardy's. Yeah, you, you said this last time, but so far I've seen him in three movies that I remember, and he's bad in all three. Two Venom movies, and what's the other one? <laughs> Batman. Oh, well, that movie's... It would be very painful. <laughs> he's very funny in that one. <laughs> I don't think he's supposed to be funny. No, but he's very funny in that one. Oh, uh, go, yes, watch, go watch go go watch, watch Tinker Tailor's Soldier Spy, and you'll just be like, oh, he's great. That's too many words for me to even remember the movie title. <sighs> Jesus. So he gets a call. Then he's like, he's hanging off a thing, and then Anne Michelle mm-hmm. Williams calls. And it's like, why is he hang? They like, there's some weird discourse There's no there. reason to hang. No, but it's it's funny. Venom is funny in this scene. Venom's funny. So they're going to meet. Let's meet. And then cut to the next night at the date. You know, that she's like, he's like, how's it going? You know, he comes in all looking like shit, even though he's got a new motorcycle. It still looks like shit. Yeah. I, money doesn't buy you happiness, Dan. That's the story. That is that is the moral of this movie. 
Money doesn't buy you happiness. She looks beyond gorgeous. Every scene she's in, she's of completely it's gorgeous. Williams. She is so much better in this movie than she is in the first. Well, I don't know what. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think why. I w- so they to me in the first one they have zero chemistry in the first one and it's it's just painful to watch in this one she's she i don't know maybe she realized that too and she's like i just have to double down because i i feel it from her i still don't feel anything from tom hardy he's a waste of space but when it's michelle williams and venom I'm like, yeah, this, let's do this. This thing. hookup scene, you need this. Tony's like, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Get, get that I'm tongue in. going, tongue all over everything. <laughs> Go. Um, so she's engaged to Dan. You know, she's got. Is class. this the same scene as the last one? Don't they get together the at the same is- place? And she's like, I'm seeing someone else. Isn't that what happens? Yeah. Okay, and then he climbs into the lobster. He climbs into the yeah. lobster thing, which yeah. which supposedly yeah. they're saying Tom Hardy came up with on set and just did it. I would have fired him on the spot. Are those real live lobsters then? Do you have like real lobsters in there? That couldn't happen because the way you light a set. I mean, though, also like unless they just did one take where they're like, Tom, we're going to shoot it wide, do whatever you want. And then he does that, and they're like, okay, well, we'll just keep it. All right, we don't give a shit. This movie's terrible anyhow. <sighs> Whatever. It's dumb. It's very dumb. So Venom is not okay with her being engaged. Of course. And Venom's, you know, Venom, <laughs> this is like the line I liked the most. Well, Venom's like, I'll take care of him. And then Venom's like, cry, Eddie, cry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make you cry. She's going to love it. <laughs> so great. It's so great. And then uh, nothing. They don't. They don't deliver on that joke at all. They set up like this perfect thing where he's got to start crying, and he like doesn't. Yeah. You're just like, what? Ah, sad. Okay. Then then he goes back on the motorcycle, and it's raining, and he tries to kill himself, and Venom won't let him, and Venom's like, man up. So and, here's you know, my problem, Dan, because I have a huge problem with this scene. He's not yeah. just trying to kill himself. He is driving at other motorists on the road. He's endangering the lives of dozens of people because he's a selfish asshole. Eddie Brock is the worst character in cinema history. There, I said it. I hate him so much. That's that's why he should just let Venom eat that criminal. He should just let Venom eat his own head, okay? That's who needs to get eaten. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, no. This is the crazy breakfast scene. What was the other scene? I don't know. What was the other scene I said was Venom? I don't know, Dan. I don't know. Oh, that probably was the scene where he was was in the in the convenience store. So now we have the real breakfast scene where he's getting the mail and he's making the breakfast and he's trying. This is where he's trying to cheer Eddie up. Yes. And I like the catch up line. What is the cut? He and squirts the ketchup. It's the, it's the button of the scene. Yeah, he's like, catch up. And then it just explodes all over his face. That's a great bit. It's a great bit. I enjoyed it a lot. And he gets mail from from uh, Cletus. And then we do this animation where we see Cletus's, how he killed his dad and his mom and his grandma. And, yeah. And is just a horrible person. Yep. Just the worst. So we go now we're going back to jail to see Cletus again. For what reason? We don't know. Maybe he's trying to get information from him. Maybe Oh, because Cletus says, you know, come see me die. And yeah, he was like, since you're the one that caught me, you should send me to the next world at something dumb. And you know what Venom says? Don't go, Eddie. <laughs> which is which is kind of weird, right? No, it's not weird. It's actually one of, so? it's one of the best character moments I thought of the movie because he knows it's a mistake to go. What is he's it's a like? Trap. What is? Yeah, it's a trap. Nothing yeah. will come of this, Eddie. <laughs> and of course, he's right. See, that's the thing. It's Venom's right, and and all Eddie's never right. And he never does anything right. And he's like, yeah, Eddie's the worst. He's the worst. He's a bad friend to Venom. Yeah, and he's a he's bad a person. waste of human. Yeah. He's just the worst. I'm so glad we get to spend a full hour and a half with him. So we go to the jail. You know, Venom's like, let me eat them. All you can eat buffet. Lions don't eat salad. Lions don't eat salad joke. All true. All true. All very true. <laughs> um, this guy makes zero sense. Okay, so then 
Cletus is going off and Eddie's recording it. And he's like, we're from the same family. You're just like me. And like, huh? We are based on what? I have no I idea. Don't know. <laughs> Eddie is nothing like you no. from what I can tell. No. You're, a, you're motivated. You're good at your job, which of course is murdering, but you seem good at it. Like you guys are complete opposites. Yeah. And the, the whole connection between Eddie and Cletus is one of those things where they keep on sort of making proclamations about it through the movie. And right. It's like, but it huh? never, yeah. Don't, don't buy it for one second. So then Cletus bites Eddie and gets the alien DNA. And he's like, you don't taste like human being. And he's, I've had blood. Yes. It's a, it's a weird line. Yeah. Uh, I wrote, who's the real hero? Who found the clue? Sick of your whining. Then they have a big fight, and Venom starts throwing all of Eddie's stuff out the window. Which is another pretty fun scene. Like when he does the TV, and I, if if Tom Hardy was better in this scene, I think it would be great. But he doesn't. He just doesn't bring it ever in this movie. And like when he holds the TV out the window, there should be more of an emotional response to it. But there's not. So Venom goes out. Venom ditches him. Goes in like the homeless guy and then destroys his motorcycle too. Which is great. Great scene. Good job. <laughs> so the Cletus execution, you know, they inject him with the stuff and then here comes Carnage. And then Carnage just goes wild, killing everybody and then turning into a whirlwind. Which I hated, by the way. You, uh, you hated the when whirlwind. he turned into a so, whirlwind? So dumb. How, yep, so wait. dumb. No, Tony, he turned into a whirlwind. Yeah, I understand what he don't, did, don't you, and it doesn't make any fucking sense. Don't you understand? Okay? He turned into a whirlwind. But it's a whirlwind. He, you don't like it? No, I don't like it. He's, <laughs> he's been in, you know, Carnage has been in Cletus for 30 seconds. That's so, and knows how to turn into a whirlwind. So here's my problem. I mean, one of many. I have two problems with this. One, <laughs> we've been with Eddie and Venom for two, like a movie and a half. And they're still not, they still don't know how to act together. But then Carnage gets in Woody Harrelson and they're like immediately ready to go. They understand everything. It's a little weird to me. Uh, yeah. But the reason why it's weird, because I, I can get on board with that. If that's if that's the way it is, okay, I can get more worth. But at the end of the movie, they make a point to tell you that Carnage and Cletus aren't a good match. They're not symbiotically matched at all. But he goes. But then why are they so perfect together from the get go? It doesn't make any sense. That's inconsistent. More importantly, how do they do this through the whole movie? Like that's yeah. Like it doesn't make any sense. Venom's burning through human beings like every three or four hours, like burning yes. through them. And he's yeah. So that doesn't make any sense. And we'll talk about it more because I have more problems with that at the end. The other problem I have in general is that I think this needs to be rated R. Oh, okay. for a movie called Let There Be Carnage, there is almost zero carnage. Because you can't. Yeah, because I mean, there's there's because they can't show it. There's lots of death. Don't get me wrong. Like he's killing people off screen. But in a movie that that promises me carnage, I want to see some cartoon gore. I want to. I want to be like, oh shit, this guy's a monster. You lose too much money going from PG thirteen to R. Well, I don't know if they made a lot of money anyhow. Oh, this movie, I, I think this movie did okay. Oh, it did okay. I think Great. So. It's got like eighty something percent on Rotten Tomatoes, which I find baffling. I mean, people liked the whirlwind. Probably they liked <laughs> the kitchens, the breakfast I don't scene. It. They liked that weird stuff where Carnage, where Venom's being silly. I, I don't mind Silly Venom. I'm okay with it. I don't like Carnage Whirlwind. <sighs> what are you going to do? So Eddie then cleans up his life, puts the chickens in the park, and Venom stands on a building. The detective comes, shakes down Eddie, and then Eddie's got to lay low. And then Venom goes and is in like all these carnival people, and he's all like, oh, what's happening with this? And then Cletus pimps himself up and steals a car to go rescue his lady love. Yeah. Yeah. I, can I ask you a question, Dan? Let's, sure. let's talk about Woody real quick. How did you feel about Woody in this movie? Woody's not a good actor. He's not an actor. 
I feel like he is sometimes, though, right? I mean, he plays he plays fun characters sometimes, and so yeah. you're okay with that. Like in Hunger Games, he plays a fun character. He does not act yeah. well. I do like Hamish. Hey, you're right. Great character, right. but and you kind of enjoy it because it's Woody. But you you're like, okay, this is not a he's not a human. Be-. You know, you look at Stanley Tucci's yeah. insane character in that, and you're like, that's a person. You look at Woody's guy, and you're That's like, a tough "This comparison, though." Tucci is, yeah, I know, you know he's a great actor, phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. And then the other one is, yeah. um, uh, what's the other one? Woody Harrelson. Oh, the No Country for Old Men. He comes in there as the weird sheriff guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, you buy it just enough because that movie's so good. You're like, okay, I'm yeah. gonna buy it because this is an interesting character and a great movie. But you're like, Woody is definitely at the bottom yeah. rung. Yeah, and it, it just doesn't – it never works for me in this movie. Not for like – not even like a second in my like, okay, I buy this guy. I'm ready to go, Cletus. But that's – my whole know. thing is it's a cartoon. And so like, yeah, did I ever think, oh, God, this is this guy's a serial killer. You better watch out. I never thought that. But it's a cartoon. Yeah. But cartoons can be cool. I've seen cool cartoons. Yeah, all right? but I mean, you know what I'm saying when I say yeah. it's a cartoon. I mean, I it's, do. It's, I do. It's not an accurate. This and this portrayal. this could just be me. Sure. But for this entire movie, I was like, you know who I wish was playing this? Damian Lewis. It'd be scary. Yeah, it would be scary and kind of cool. Yeah. And I feel like that's what I wanted from Carnage. You were, but this was just like I don't know. You were never scared of him when he's in there. Saying yeah. things to Eddie, you're not like, holy moly, Eddie, look out. This guy's a badass. He's going to badass and, you. You're just like. And he's going to badass you. He's going to badass you right now. My, I, The line, you brought this up. I don't know if you brought this up in the pre-show or, or when you brought this up. But the line where he's like, people love serial killers. I never said that. Are you sure? I think you did. Uh, any, There's a line that he says. Yeah. The Woody's like, people love serial killers. And I think in general, that's probably true. But I didn't love his serial killer. But if it was Damian Lewis saying that with his like weird crooked grin and like intense eyes, I'd be like, I'm yeah, I'm on board. Yeah, I do. I do. I'm interested. Let's do this. Damian Lewis is a freak. Yeah, but like in a good way. In a creepy way. Yeah, he would have been yeah. great. And there's, Anyhow, there's definitely sorry. people you could have hired that would have been interesting that way. But he's playing a non-threatening serial killer. I mean, they're... yeah, but if you're non-threatening, like it doesn't bring anything to the movie. Yeah, the, yeah. Okay. There's, there's <laughs> not a lot. I mean, yeah. this is a comedy. It's a cartoon. This is a cartoon. I no, you can do <laughs> both. All right, well, you, sorry. You know, continue. I mean, yeah. There's all. I mean, you could. This could have been a good movie. It is not a good movie. <laughs> That's the whole idea. It could have been a good movie. What are you gonna do? So, uh, Cletus pimps up, steals a car. Venom goes and raves, and then he like goes up on stage and addresses the crowd oh my which God. was like <laughs> so ridiculous it's so ridiculous you love me can't we I, all get along now i'm when, doing my mic drop <laughs> it's like, when somebody i don't remember i don't think it was the i love you part but somebody says something he's like and he goes thank you me. one person <laughs> or whatever and i was like that's a great line and if uh, it was this amusing you know if this was like basically a buddy cop movie where it's like yeah. these two cops, these two cops can't get along. They're oil and water, but they're yep. oil and water for like Venom being overhyped, and then Eddie being wimpy and stupid. Just blah, it's, just it's, totally blah. It's, yeah, it's not a good opposite. It's not a. Yep. It is not an interaction we ever side with Eddie. We're always just like hundred percent. Shut up, Eddie. Go away, Eddie. You know. Yeah. I don't know what it it's is. A bummer. You know, it's a bu- well, Eddie It's Tom like Hardy. The, he sucks. Eddie should be the you got to play by the rules, you know. Things yeah. are right and there's wrong. He, you know, he's standing up for right and wrong, and Venom's like, "Yeah, give us gotta do rule. what we gotta do." And 100%. that would have been an interesting collision of of it's ideas. Almost as if there are tropes that you could have played with <laughs> that have been around for decades that work very well. I don't know, just saying. Yeah, I mean, what what do we have? Let's 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 look at uh. the ultimate buddy cop movie, which is. Lethal Weapon. Lethal Weapon. And what is what is Danny Glover? Roger Murtaugh. I'm too old for this shit. We gotta <laughs> we gotta do this right. And then you got the you got Mel Gibson, who is a lethal weapon. Riggs, so good. This yeah, I, he does. <laughs> are you doing the uh the three stooges? Yeah, he does that. Whoop. 
It's so great. That's what this movie <sighs> should be. You know, we don't. Yeah. We. I mean, yes, Danny Glover's character is like exhausted, but he's not. Yeah. He's not a loser. Yeah. No. No, he's not. Nope. And he's a good cop. He's a good cop. He's good at his job. What a revelation that would be if Eddie was good at any facet of his job or life. See, that should have been the thing is Venom gives him the clues, chuck, 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 the clue. And then Eddie's like, oh, my God, I'm being smart. We're working as a team to get, you know, I'm being smart. They, you're right, because they're not a team. That's nope. an important distinction. Nope. It is. It's just Venom. It's just Venom. Interesting. Eddie's yeah. garbage. Venom. And, he's <laughs> and so Venom should be allowed to eat the occasional Robert. Dan. I've come around. Uh, you know what? Let them eat. I'm in. <laughs> let's 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 let heads roll, baby. One other thing before we, we dip all into this, I I was like, okay. I was around in comics when Venom showed up, but I okay. was not around when when Carnage showed up, and the, we went down that whole crazy path. Interesting, because I was around for the Carnage. But continue. You say your thing. Well, y- you know how Carnage came about is mm-hmm. th- that Eddie and Cletus were in jail together. Correct. Venom laid an egg. Yeah, which was always pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever, it doesn't matter. He laid an egg, yeah. and then the egg yeah. infected Cletus, unbeknownst yeah. to Eddie. Correct. Makes so much more sense. Oh, yeah, and, and that's... Just imagine a world where... A, <laughs> Venom laying an egg makes more sense than what they did in this movie. That's how shitty this movie is. Because him, just some of Venom's DNA has like a, a separate thought process. Like a and whole, whole, a whole new personality. I, 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 yeah, I have no idea. doesn't make a lick of sense. If anything, it should just be like an extension of Venom himself. Yes, in some weird but way. But it's not. It's not. It's his son. Which I honestly, I thought that they were going to do something different. But then later, Carnage does call him dad, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And that was when I was like, well, now I'm just totally confused because that's you did it wrong. You didn't didn't do that right at all, guys. Like if he'd had another of the symbiotes, you know, like trapped in his DNA or Mm -hmm. something, you know, there's a a number of things you could have written because because you've written something completely different. So you yes. can write something good do whatever you want at different. that point. That's the whole yeah. idea. If you're making shit up, yeah. make up a thing that makes sense. Make it good. Make it good, you idiots. <sighs> okay. So let's see. Um, bu- 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 where are we? Car- okay. So Eddie goes to the abandoned orphanage to find out something. Who knows? Yes. <laughs> and then um, Carnage goes to a goes to a convenience store. Why does he go to the convenience store, Tony? Looking for Venom? No, to get access to the internet. Oh yeah, yeah. And then he like plugs his tentacles into a computer. I didn't like this at all. This is very dumb. More importantly, why are you attacking a convenience store to get to the internet? Because he doesn't know what the internet is. Seemed like he knew what it was pretty quick <laughs> once he saw it there on the table. He's like, oh, now I get it. <laughs> so weird. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. So then he goes to breaks out his girlfriend, which it's like really weird. He's like inside the room, outside the room. Also, let's just talk about for one second where he logs in with his fingers and then immediately finds what he needs to know. We cut to the the... The, the place where she's being held captive and she's like you don't worry he'll never find you why do you, why is that line even in there he found her so easily like it he didn't have to try at all it was immediate like it was a seat you know that line is delivered like this the location of this thing and her is a secret. secret yeah and you're kind of like no. uh, instead say He'll never be able to break in here. We've got a thousand guards at impregnable right, security. Yeah, it's fortified. Wonderful. That's such a better, <laughs> better way to do it. As opposed to he can't find you. Well, yeah, we all even know though he found you in three seconds. It wasn't hard at all. And like he's on one side of the door, then he's on the other side of the door, and he's who's he just like why, why does he just? You should be on one side a, of the door. Somehow he's down on the door. both sides of the door. That's what's. That's when I got all fucked up because he's on the side looking at Carnage on the other side hitting her, and I was like, I where is he going? Where is he? Th- I don't know. And so then they, God, it gets so weird. Breaks <laughs> her out, 
Then we yeah, start what we think is going to be the car chase, and then it ends almost yeah. instantaneously, and it becomes lifting Giant. the car into the yep. air, and then attack helicopters show up. Yeah, very quickly. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what to say about this. It's bizarre. <laughs> And he throws. But before, goes, hold on. Before we move <laughs> on, we just, I just have to talk. Is this, um, this lady's name is Naomi Harris? Is that correct? Mm-hmm. I think, I think that's right. I don't know. Uh, when they're in the orphanage, don't they seem like comparable ages? Yes. They don't anymore, Dan. Uh, <laughs> Woody Harrelson Wait a second. feels like 20 years older at least, right? Well, I mean, they were in reform school in 1996, and so he is about eight. So that would put about 1988 they were born. So he should be 34, so He should be 35. about my age, okay? <laughs> and, and he's not. I don't know if you know this, How but old he's is old. He's got to be 60s, right? Maybe more. I don't know. But it, this was very weird. And I... I don't know. I I don't know the decisions. Oh, you thought it was weird. weird. You thought this was like old man, young woman. I mean, it was that. I mean, she may not even be that young, but she's definitely it like two decades younger than him, which is it's fine in general. But compared to the beginning of the movie where they were in like schoolish together, it doesn't make any sense unless she's in like a parabolic chamber and she doesn't age. I don't know, but it was weird. I didn't like it. Is the chamber parabolic, Tony? I don't know. What is that the right word, Dan? I don't know. It just came. It just came out. Hyperbolic chamber, maybe. Maybe. What's that one? What's I what is what I said? What's parabolic? What's a, a parabola? Is a is a a gentle curve. Yeah, so that makes sense. A gentle curve of a holding cell. Uh, the hyperbolic, I think it is. It's like you know what Michael Jackson slept in. You know where you like. Y- yes. Okay, that's what I was looking for. A parable. <laughs> Got it. No, not at all. None of those things. You don't know things, Dan. So, all right. uh, let's see what happens. Okay, Venom. Uh, let's see. Do is it, okay. Then she screams, and we find you know we realize. Oh yeah, screams are bad. He right, doesn't right. like. We that. all remember. So he's that all now. like, "I'll kill this woman if she screams again," or something. Okay, it's kind of weird, you know, like because it seems like Carnage is in charge, so he would have just crushed her. I don't understand. Right. Yeah, he's yep. like kind of keep. It's like I will, I will let you keep this this loaded gun pointed at my head next to me, but blah blah. You know, it's like but don't <laughs> use it, don't do it. I'll be mad. So Venom goes to the convenience store, and he's dying. And Mrs. Chen is like, "Oh, there, there, Venom, there, there, Venom." It's it's weird, so, and she like gets up in it, and she like puts her hands in the Venom. I don't know, man. It's weird. So then the cops arrive at Ravenloft. So. The, there were attack helicopters, and then the cops yep. arrived later to sort of see what happened. Yeah. Attack helicopters. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the attack helicopters were privately leased. Now Eddie's in jail. What? Was he? Why? I don't know. But okay. <laughs> somehow Eddie is, is at the police station, and basically, he's basically jailed. He can't leave. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because then Michelle Williams has to come into the interrogation room or whatever with him. Right. right. Is he charged? Is he? I don't know. What did he do? I mean, did he do he something? He definitely can't leave, though, because he has to send her on a mission to go get Venom. You're right. I don't know. I don't have a clue. It was <laughs> the most baffling thing in the movie. You're kind of like, Eddie's has to. You're just like, I don't understand. You can't just. Uh... They can't just detain you sort of in a room for. You don't, Dan, you don't know your rights, okay? Yeah. No. You don't know the law. We we watch the first 48 every day of our lives. We I have seen so many episodes of the first 48. And if if they want to charge you or do something to you, they could do that. Otherwise, you say, sure. bye-bye. They can't hold yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You Please can't hold me. I know my you. rights. That's like a classic line in movies, too. It's like, you can't hold me. I know my rights. There you go. It's like let me go or charge me. I mean, a lot of times people hang yeah. out there because 
they know shit has gone down and they're going to be in bigger trouble. You know, you yeah. Once you get out in the world, you're probably dead. But when they when you have the real gangsters there, they just they go like, you know, you're going to talk to us, and the guy's like, no, and then they they like, okay, bye bye, okay, well, thanks for coming in. We appreciate your time. (laughs) Non guilty people are the ones that generally stay there and talk to police. Guilty people usually say, blow it out your nose. I'm just like Gotti. Remember that Just movie? Like that was he a knew. real classic. John he knew. He gets it. So yeah. So he. So Michelle Williams shows up. Still yeah. beautiful. Still great. 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 She, and so she's going to help. And they have to like talk like this. Like, oh, talk like this. But they do it in a weird way that so we can still see their mouths. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's very silly. So Eddie's like. You gotta go find Venom. So she's like, oh, I'll go find Venom. So she goes to Mrs. Chen and then she realizes that Venom is in Mrs. Chen. And mm-hmm. then she like does like this little thing, which was really sad. It only lasts for a second. She like charms up Venom in Miss yeah. Chen. And it's just they don't even sh- they don't even show it exactly, but they imply yeah. that she's doing it. And you're like, I want to see that scene. Yeah, it's nice. It's great stuff. Um something happens at the orphanage. I don't think so. And then, so they get Venom, and then she takes Venom back there, and then we get Lady Venom for a second, and then Venom goes into him, and then they bust through the wall. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did we didn't... Not yet. We, not did we yet. not... Oh, we're not there yet. Okay. Oh, no. he. So Lady Venom busts through the wall. Must be Lady Venom. Yes. Yeah, it's Lady Venom. So then we're, then we're out there on the street, and then Venom's like, Eddie must apologize to me. Yeah. And this, I enjoyed this little scene. It's great because I, I love that dynamic where he's like kind of a petulant child and he's just, and yeah, it's great. And he thinks about it a lot. He's like, um, okay. Like, I I don't know. It's silly. It's fun. Uh, I enjoyed it. So Cletus grabs the cop we've been dealing with the whole time, who I guess is the person that put her eye out somehow. I, well, I guess that's where he shot her. Because he shot at her and he thought he killed her. And then she screamed or like she screamed and then he shot and she like fell some. Right. Isn't that kind of how it went down? I don't know. I, don't I think know. he shot her eye out. Just like uh, my parents always said what happened to me. So. They Cletus grabs the cop and then they figure out that that Annie, they grab Annie, too, because they figure that out somehow. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, one of those classic. I'm going to grab your person. So I'll have your person. Blah, blah. Did you know? Blah, blah. Did you notice where Eddie was hiding out when he was hiding out? No, he was hiding out, hiding out at the top of Coit Tower, which is which is like this landmark in San Francisco, and it's it's kind of I, like if if you were hiding out, um, like what's what's the equivalent? Some place you don't have access to. It's not a place you oh, can. Okay. It's <laughs> some place. It's like you're hanging out at some place you can't hang out at. <laughs> Got it. Okay. It's like have them in the park, do something, but it's like one of the most recognizable tourist attract. You know, it's like uh, yeah, it's okay. you know what it is. It's locked at night. I assume it's not like. And he doesn't. Does he have venom at this point? No. So maybe venom. Wait. Okay, that's no. He yeah, venom. he must have venom at this point. All right. Okay. Wait. Oh, okay. So he has venom. So he venomed up there. I'm sorry. I guess, Stupid but Dan. still, that's very funny, though. <laughs> so we figure out that he's got to go to this cathedral, and then we For some then reason, we have yeah. the big 25 minute fight. Um, there's only one good part in the fight, and that's when Dan pours fire on Carnage, and Dan we kicks ass. Talked, oh god, Dan we kicks haven't ass. talked about Doctor Dan. I need more Doctor Dan in this movie. The, the whole end part with him is great. His he's just so great. good. If this, I honestly almost think that this movie should be just about Michelle Williams and Doctor Dan. Yes, Anne and Dan. Oh, that's a terrible oh, couple name. I love it. Okay. Um, that's I. Those are the only two characters in this movie, other than Venom, Venom. that I enjoy at all. Yeah. Like, like, I think Venom needs to be with them, and they need to be dealing with some shit. I don't know, but it's they're great. The League they're great. of Protectors. <laughs> <laughs> so all sorts of stuff happens in this this fight you know there's a bell ringing and then it's eddie versus cletus and then at a certain point cletus's girlfriend sort of turns on carnage even though i don't, we know. don't know why don't. and then she gets thrown to her death um and then 
but not before she screams. And then Carnage is climbing, and then the lady dies, and then Venom eats Carnage. It's like just this very long scene. And it never feels like there's any stakes to it. Nope. To me, nope. like it's just it's just a bunch of nonsense happening that I just don't care about. We pick people up and we like go, oh, they're not going to get hurt, even though we're being picked up. Yep. Yep. But what I will say, and here's where I have problems with this scene. This is where, as I mentioned earlier, they bring up the part where they're like, hey, Carnage and Cletus are not a good match. They're, well, they're not symbiotically attached. Right. Literally. So which is a I have thing. two huge problems with this. One, in the comics, it's the exact opposite. As it if I remember, I haven't read it in a long time, granted, but if I'm remembering correctly, Carnage and Cletus are in fact like the tightest of tight. They are the, like the best match ever. And I'm pretty sure they refer to themselves as I, like they both consider themselves one unit as opposed to Got Venom, it. who always uses we, we are two separate people or yes. entities in one body. But Carnage was always like, I, I am Carnage. I'm almost positive. So that's the opposite relationship as it should be. Um, and more importantly, I have a problem with that because earlier in the movie, they seem so in sync immediately that that doesn't make any sense to me. That feels like it backtracks the movie. Well, more to importantly, me. if you do that, then you don't have to worry about carnage being a creature that has specific yes. wants. It just yes. has Cletus's wants. Yep. And if it just had Cletus's wants, and I mean, them saying that, like, didn't even make any. I mean, it sort of made in the difference of the woman. Not and stuff. really. They don't really use it. It's not. I don't know. It's not used to defeat him in any way, shape, or form. Yep. So it's kind of which. Like so why even bring it up? I have no yep. idea. So you change it from the comics, and then f you say it for no reason. And you don't use it at all. It's so dumb. What? A, I, what a bunch of idiots. So that's. I, I have a huge problem with with how they portray that. So that's all. There he is. Cletus is like, you know, on the ground and he goes over to there and Eddie's like, what, you know, what is up with you? You know, why, why, why are you bugging on me yeah, so hard? Yeah, what's the deal, dude? Bugging on me. <laughs> why are you bugging on me so hard? And Tony, what is the answer to that question? I have no idea. I was upset at this point. Is he just oh, saying? he says uh, exactly uh, what it is. is. What does he say? Like, I love you? I wanted your friendship. So you, what, it was I love you. Okay, I mean, yeah, it. it is what I love you, basically. But why? But based on what? Do they know each other? I don't understand, Dan. What relationship do they have? Like, you said that he caught him. But how did he catch him? Did he just write an article again? Like, I, I, why Why does he want his friendship? I don't know. Because he's misunderstood. The fuck? And then he's not misunderstood. He's killed so many people. He murdered his grandma. You don't do that. And I think I think Eddie says something like he's like, You killed all your family. We're not how are we? Yeah. And then and then, uh, then Venom eats him. Which you know what? Great. I'm all for it. Okay. So then eat away, Venom. And then then Venom gets a gets a few lines. He's like, Take care of Anna, Dan. I really like Dan. I <laughs> I know, which is I. Those three are so great. I just wish that that was the movie. So they go back to the park to get the chickens. Maybe we can get along. And then Venom's like, maybe we can do this. You know, I don't know if he says that, but you know, yes, there's something stupid on the beach that looked dumb, sounded oh, dumb, and beach. I hated it. God, I forgot they were on the beach. Yeah, looking at a fucking sunset. Ugh. Oh, the League of Protectors. Then there's like a bonus scene where they're like watching a soap opera. Did you watch the bonus scene? I did, yeah. They're watching a soap opera, and then Spider-Man comes on the TV, because I guess the multiverse is happening. So, Well, there's Venom's there's gonna... that ripple. There's the ripple. Blah, 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 and then they're like, things are different. And that must be whatever Doctor Strange does in No Way Home. Yeah, so I think Venom's going to be one of the villains in No Way Home. I think he's going to... I guess. I wish that... Here's what I wish, Dan. I wish that when there was a ripple, it changed from Tom Hardy to somebody from different from the multiverse. That's what I wished happened. <laughs> they, they they retconned him out of out of his <laughs> own series. <laughs> I would love that. That would be the greatest move in cinema history. If they're just like, you know what, this isn't working. Let's recast at the end of the movie. Moving forward. Uh... 
but that's not uh, I'm not going to get my wish. So that is Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage, also known as Venom, colon, Let There Be Carnage. <laughs> um, yep. 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 Yeah, yep. I mean, there's there's kernels of a good movie in here. It's just not at all this movie. Yeah, it, I I I do think I enjoyed it more than the first oh, one. Yeah. Because the first one was a lot more boring, I feel like. I, I, I don't really remember it, but I would if this was on TV, I would leave it on. I wouldn't turn it off immediately. If the, yeah, the first one yeah. I would turn off immediately. I'd be like, oh no. hundred percent I I feel like we did probably. Um but yeah, I it's it could be so much better. I but I think if they made five or six more, I think they might find their footing. You know, we're making baby steps. They're heading in <laughs> they're heading in a positive direction. That's right. Yeah, which is great. You know, that's all you need. Just if you tone down the brain eating thing and you just make it a buddy cop yeah. thing, just do that. You know, and they're, they, yeah, each of them has a different idea about how to go about things. And they just are like arguing and everybody's like, yep. what is with this guy? Because he's a little crazy. He's talking to himself. It's great. Make Eddie actually effective. And then we no, care no, about no, the no. That's. Dan, that's a terrible idea. You can't have two characters that are effective in the same movie. Ooh, yes, we've never we've <laughs> never seen that in any movie. Uh, Avengers: Infinity War, a hundred characters that are effective, no, and you know no, what it did? Zero. It made about a billion dollars. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I got to say one more thing. Now that you brought one up Avengers, thing, Tony. there is uh, in that right before that last battle, Venom refuses to come out. Yeah. And Eddie has to like try to coax him into coming out, which is an identical scene that we had with Mark Ruffalo as the Hulk. Sure. And that just goes to show how shitty Tom Hardy really is, because that scene with Mark Ruffalo is incredible. It's funny. It's like I, it's just so good. And then Tom Hardy's just flat. He can't do anything. It's not funny at all. And I was like, man, I wish we were just watching a Hulk movie right now. I think they told Tom Hardy you're playing a loser. And so Tom Hardy's just like, well, I have to really embody that. I'm going to go. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go full bore on this loser note and no one will like Make me. A character that no one can get invested in in any Ugh. way, shape or form. And that's the problem. Yes, like, don't, it's a huge bummer. Don't make a character like that. We don't like it. Maybe he's just being himself and he's a huge loser. I said it, Tom Hardy. Come at me. When he kicks your ass, I'm going to be laughing. <laughs> he would he would destroy me. I, I wouldn't stand a chance against him. Uh, uh, okay, so now is the part of the movie week, week of the movie, where we talk about something that we the M-O-W. like this week. I'm yeah. going to talk about the Hawkeye TV show on Disney+. Plus. Ooh, that I, we haven't started it yet. Um, Is it perfect? No. You know, sure. Wanda and Vision, Wanda Vision. That was perfect. Everything about WandaVision was perfect. This show, oh, yeah. uh, you know, it's a bunch of pieces, but they're figuring it out. By the third episode, okay, there was some, the first half of the third episode, I'm just like, I'm so in. What's his name's great? What's her name's great? Um, Who's what's his name? Is it Jeremy Renner? Oh, yeah. He's great. So, so I don't like Jeremy Renner. You're going to like him in this. Okay. That's, okay. I'm in. I'll, I'll watch it for sure. He... But I just, he's my least favorite. He's great in this. He, he really, you know, and it's, yeah, there's just so many things that they talk about in this that are really good. And okay. the, the act, you know, we don't get a real action scene until sort of the third one. And oh, interesting. It's okay. an action scene. Oh, great. That's, I mean, that's fine. It is great. Do you ever, um, are you, when you're watching it and watching Jeremy Renner, do you ever wish that it was Jensen Ackles? No. Because that's always my problem. Never do. Because, I because always wish it's Jeremy. he's playing an old guy. Oh, okay. And it's really nice. He plays an, he plays Hawkeye as an old guy. Like a guy okay. that is really, and that's the whole idea is he is, he is the old weary guy. And he has to right. like sort of open himself up to her becoming Hawkeye. Cause I, I'm assuming she's going to be Hawkeye at the end of this. I, yeah, I have to imagine. Yeah. And it's just really, he plays, he plays that energy really well. Um, I mean, spoilers, he's got like, a, he has severe hearing loss in the show and they just, by the third episode, they just deal with it so well. It's hmm. so good. Just so good. I mean, the first, okay. like I said, Things don't always fit, you know, it's it's kind of moving its way to where it needs to be. And so it doesn't always sure. feel like it's like, 
you know, like a boom, boom, boom. You know, WandaVision was like boom, boom, boom. Yeah. That thing was. I mean, that's why you lead with that it. That thing was tight. <laughs> yeah. This one, it's not as tight as that, but the pieces of the puzzle are just going together okay. in a really interesting way and great acting. Okay, and, cool. Yeah, I'm I in. loved it. What do you got for us, Tony? Well, uh, I have to put a caveat on it because we record earlier, weeks earlier. Sure. And so for us, it's just Christmas season right now. And there's yes. a new Peacock cooking show called Baking It. Really? Uh, where a bunch where they just cook like uh, cakes and gingerbread houses and all these fun things. And then the judges are four old grandmas. And it is wonderful okay. the only problem is that the hosts are maya rudolph and um andy samberg and they focus way too much on those two because i guess if you are paying them you have to show them yeah. more than like your contestants or your amazing grandmas but if you can get past all of those sketches and bits that they do which is a lot there's a wonderful show underneath and uh, I love these grandmas. It's kind of like the crafting show with uh, Nick Offerman. And uh, it's yeah, I'm that's sure it's exactly the, what it I'm is. I'm sure it's the exact it's same exactly. production company. And you're it, just it's like, so much so, Dan, that the beginning of baking it is Amy Poehler coming out of the door and being like, I'm going on vacation. You guys should take over the show or some oh, shit. Um, and it's a terrible bit. And I hate it. But the the rest of the show is, re- is top notch. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> So continuing the movie I'm going to pick for next week, um, you know, since we're doing these adaptations and it's really fun and it is fun. Uh, I was, I was like, okay, we're going to pick a movie. This movie, I didn't make it through. I had to turn it off. I was so angry and annoyed. Angry. Yeah. Yes. This is what we need, Dan. We need the Dan rage. This movie was just so terrible and okay. I was going to pick it. And then I looked at the runtime. Oh, fuck. Three hours. I think it was three hours and seven minutes. And I think it was over three hours. I was. I thought I was <laughs> eyeballing it there, Dan. And there's a director's cut that I think was three and a half hours. Fuck me. <laughs> and Tony, okay. for Christmas, I'm not gonna do that to you. Thank. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. <laughs> the movie I was Here's gonna Saint. pick, King Kong. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> because. It seems like a movie that you're not going to, you know, you're going to say Jack Black is terrible. Peter Jackson's a terrible yeah. director and the movie went on yeah. forever. It, it's yeah. like a five minute review and you'd have to sit there for three hours and seven minutes. And it's a long time for me to sit through it. So I won't lie. So to you. instead we're going back to, oh, I don't remember what year this was. We're going back to your boy, Dwayne, the rock Johnson. Oh, my boy. Video game adaptation. Doom. Oh, fuck, Doom. <laughs> uh, Dan, I saw this opening night at midnight. I don't think there's a know. movie I can pick in this category that you're not going to say. I, saw, I think it's 2002, I think, or four or it's, something. Yeah, it's got to be like high school age for me because we were so excited. I almost got sick in the theater and we'll talk about it. <laughs> oh, but it's. They do a first person like v- to be the video game, and it makes me physically sick because it's Ooh. so I can't. So I'll be closing my eyes for that portion of the movie. Maybe Pitoff was uh, <laughs> one of the assistant directors on the movie. Ah, oh, Pitoff. I forgot to tweet him. Shoot. I'll have to do that. So uh, I'm excited to see this movie again because I haven't seen this in. 20 years probably we're going, almost we're going first person we're going first person <laughs> it's it's such a bad idea you guys it's oh. a movie that almost made tony sick i yeah it, that doesn't happen very often but i was like physically ill in the theater i'm rough. so happy and so happy we're not watching peter jackson's king kong oh god me too i i actually i don't think i ever watched that movie it's if, I, if i'm being honest it makes lord of the rings look exciting you don't like Lord of the Rings? Oh, God, I hate those movies. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. The, oh, that's interesting. The second one where it's just people riding horses across landscapes. <laughs> sure, but the video game adaptation of The Two Towers was amazing. Did you ride horses across endless landscapes? 
No, but you got to like play as Legolas and just like shoot hundreds and hundreds of orcs. It was it was pretty fucking cool. <laughs> uh, that's not in those movies. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. So this has been Hate Watching with Dan and Tony. Uh, if you like what you see, subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like button, because uh, we never have enough like buttons in our lives. That's, I mean, that's just true, you know? And um, we'll be maybe seeing you next week. Oh, and Dan, I looked at the comment section, which I usually don't do. Oh, and what? Oh, uh, you're, supposed I'm to, gonna, you're supposed to do something. I'm supposed to do something. Do something. I'm, and I'll, I'm do, I'll do it. I don't know what I'm, it's just, I, I, waka waka. <laughs> did you, something like did that. Did you do it in the other movie? <laughs> to the show no, i know but i think i think it's an insult i think this person was saying i sound like fozzy bear which oh, I don't you know. sound like i don't know if i want to sound like a muppet yeah like, oh, waka waka i don't i don't think that i sound like that <laughs> oh you know what a ba- you know what a maybe- bear is in the vernacular what which vernacular <laughs> You're using vernacular too many times today, Dan. I can't keep up with your vocabulary. A bear in uh, homosexual uh, oh, nomenclature. I would, hey, is, listen, uh, I'll take that any day. Sure. I don't think that I. I don't think I'm cute enough to be considered that. Uh, but thanks for saying it, Dan. I appreciate cute it. Cute guy, Tony. We love it's you. Very kind waka, of you. Waka. Waka, waka. Waka waka. Waka waka. Uh, anyhow. <laughs> yes. I don't sound like a Muppet person. Waka waka achieved. <laughs> uh, All right. Well, we'll see you next week. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Waka waka. Hey, watch it.